Hello, good morning. Say hi, babies. Hi, babies. This is a purple girl. We're here with Snowflake and Burton's F1 mini English Golden Doodle babies. They are four weeks old. Yes. And they're all just oh so cute. It is cold. I'm not sure what our low was, but this morning it was 20. Yes, so we're having to bring in extra heaters because even though our heat is really, really good, um, it's just a little too chill for, uh, we have some babies in here that aren't even a week old and uh, it's just a little chill. Yeah, a little chilly. What are you doing, huh? Yeah, is it cold today? Yeah, so yeah, they don't go outside. They don't go outside yet. Even if they're of age to go outside, if the weather is not optimal, if it's wet or too hot or too cold, they still don't go outside. We'll use our artificial turf in here. Yeah, it's just, we, we have just, um, I think winter is our best seasons for uh, training outside. And even then, when we have those super cold days, or we really don't have a lot of super cold days, you know, in a row, but when we do, they definitely, they can't regulate that temperature. Yeah, say hi. Did you get any colors today? Did you? Yeah? Uh -huh. Hi. So their area has been cut in half. Still a huge area here for them. But um, our Lena gave birth to our sheep doodles and so they're having to share, we had to put up the room divider so that Lena is a huge dog. So she's got to have a lot of room. Puppies don't require a lot of room, but boy, the mamas, especially uh, when they're big mamas, they need room. So let's go through our babies. Shall we go through our babies here? Yeah, hopefully the sun is shining just right where we can actually see. Uh-oh, somebody pottied over here. Now we're all stepping in it. We're all stepping in the potty. Yes, I know because I'm sitting in half of the potty area. Here we go. All right, we only have two girls in this litter. I do believe they're going early. Um, however, you never know. You never know. We've had females quite often that are the last pick of the litter. Once people come out, they see how cute everybody is. Um, gender really, uh, unless you're trying to match up personalities, um, gender is really not a, a huge deciding factor, at least it shouldn't be. I think there's a lot of taboos. People are really starting to notice that the males are the better temperament. And so uh, I'm, I'm getting more and more owners that are switching over to males versus females. So sometimes when there's a female the last pick, that's not necessarily desirable. Other people have the, um, and it's usually our older clients who have the, the notion that females are more docile, don't mark. Um, I just want to keep warning everybody, you have to have them spayed before the first cycle, which is six months. That is our rules here at Lambo Farms. And if you don't, then um, marking can happen as a female. Actually, marking, does, you should see my dogs out there that are not spayed. Marking is, is more crazy with females than males. So you would, as long as you uh, keep the hormones from settling in, you're not going to have that problem at all. Um, Okay, so we'll start here with the two girls of the litter. So um, here is our dark pink collar. She's a red, a dark red wavy coat. This litter is all wavy coats. Snowflake does not make curly coats. And then here's purple. And purple is this, it's like a, a light peanut butter. Uh, I, I used to call it when we had our mini golden, or a micro, micro minis, I used to call it a creamy mocha. It's like you put a whole bunch of cream in your coffee. That's the look that you kind of have here with this color. It's not a white, as you can see next to the white. It's definitely not a white. So these are our two girls. Say hi. Can you say hi? Can you sit? Sit, good sit. Good sit. They're all over here playing in the potty. Yes, because that's what puppies do. Yes. I once had a person say, oh, you don't want a puppy. They, they, um, potty and they poop and they wake up and yada 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 and, and I agreed I was like that's right you want a stuffed animal no they do require work 
and they're awesome and they're rewarding and they give back, but they do potty and poop. They do. We can't, we can't take that away from them. Um, next, we have our boy, so we'll just move on here to Yellow Boy. Say hi. There's our collar. Yellow Boy is a very light red, a peanut butter color. Are you coming to see me? Should I back up? Should I back up for you? Yeah. <laughs> And here's the littlest of the litter, but still big. Still not a not a tiny baby. Is our green boy? Yes. And green boy's kind of that creamy mocha color too. He's not really white either. We'll put you right next to purple so we can see. Yeah. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> what? Yeah. We have lots to say. Okay. So next, sitting right in front of me is dark blue boy who is also a red doesn't have as many uh light chippings as yellow yes and you're so sweet look at you look at you yes i talk to babies and puppies the same so sometimes you just have to mute the the tv if you don't or your screen if you don't want to hear the high pitch talking. Uh, here is Black Collar Boy. He's the big kahuna of the litter. And he is definitely a light peanut butter. He's he's darker than our cream mocha is here. But he's lighter than, say, let's put yellow next to you. And you can see he's lighter than yellow. Everybody pretty much has the same face. Um, one of my, uh, one of the owners on one of the lists was mentioning that I had mentioned in the Chiquita litter about all the, the very blocky faces and the retriever look. That's this litter too. That's an English look, that blocky forehead, um, very retriever looking face. That's this litter too. So, um, whereas you have, uh, Chiquitas, definitely you're going to have that look. This is that way as well. Yes, and Chiquita's litter and his litter are all wavy coats. Yeah, come here. Do you want to play with your toys? Do you want to play with your toys? Yes, it makes noise. It's making noise for you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so look at my pants. This is not from the puppies. This is from their mama. Uh, Snowflake is a um, is a purebred golden retriever. She's white, so she's considered the English cream. However, in America, they don't have AKC does not have a special category for English cream, so they just call them a pure white golden retriever. I know. AKC and I. I mean, we get along to the fact that I'm still licensed for Shih Tzus, but um, haven't bred Shih Tzus for a while. But anyway, um, a Shih Tzu's not a purebred either. It's a cross. It's one of those things I'm trying to tell them. I actually think the reason that they don't um, recognize Golden Doodles just yet is because there is such a variance in the generations. There are many generations. You don't, uh, you know, just like you see the, um, the Spaniels, you see the Cocker Spaniels, you see the English Cocker Spaniel, the American Cocker Spaniel. You have so many Cocker Spaniels and they have allowed that. I think we'll see that eventually. Um, however, I, I do like the freedom to do what I want to do, mix generations, mix what I want. So, um, uh, and they are allowing our owners to go ahead, as long as your puppy is spayed or neutered, you can go ahead and add them in to the sporting events. So for me, uh, it's not a huge deal right now. Um, AKC does make a lot of money on that. And it's also a great way genetically to keep track with the DNA, um, you know, to see how far we're inbreeding. Um, when you have a, a, a purebred, you are, that's basically what we're doing is, uh, eventually we're breeding lines that are all related to each other to get the best of the best of the best the best of the best which I do recognize because that's what we um, are interested in in our English lines yes okay there sorry more, no more lessons on AKC there are other things that you can register for golden doodles um, Ghana was something that I had checked in with a long long time ago um, a person who had set it up, they had talked to me about, you know, kind of collaborating and doing some things there. Um, it was, oh, it's just crazy expensive. It's several thousand dollars just to have a little stamp to say you're Ghana, uh, you're in the Ghana program. And to me, that money can be spent on my dogs. Um, 
it is not a huge money-making thing to do this. We do do it as a business, so we are very business-minded. However, uh, just kind of one of those things I was, um, I felt like the registration itself was more expensive than, than need be. I mean, that was just ridiculous. And, uh, and we weren't that huge back then, so that wasn't what we were gonna do. But um, there are some breeders that are with them, and, um, and that's great. But what I recommend, those of you who are new to us, um, we're redoing our website. So a lot of our sli uh, um, Smilebox sl slideshows are ancient, so ancient. They're like 10, 11 years old, and um, I'm trying to put them on a new platform so you can see them. But I did a lot of slideshows in the early, just showing our grounds, showing our breeding facilities, kind of letting everybody get to know us better on that end. And um, check us out on our Facebook page. It's Lango Farms Golden Doodles. And it is a, a, an open forum. You can do a visitor post. You can ask people on there um, questions about us, questions about their dogs. And I am very open to whatever our, our owners have to say and share. Um, people who want to know um, a little more about us, about our dogs. That is a great way to find out about um, any breeder. Go and ask um, other owners referrals. And, uh, and that's a great way to kind of kind of get a feel for not just us, but also which litters might be a great fit for your family. Um, we realize that small dogs may not be a great fit for every family. Um, and so you may want a bigger dog. Um, we, the only standards we do right now are the sheep -a doodles um, About once every three or four years, we'll do a, a standard English litter. Um, and that is where our or Polly and our Bella came from. And so if you want a dog that size, every once in a while we do that. But because Brie is retiring, it, it may be a very long time before we have a standard golden doodle litter. Look, you guys are kind of like cuddling up like you're cold. So um, for standards, we may not be your, your first choice here, but we definitely have every other size in between. Medium, mini, petite, and pocket. And look at you. Oh, I didn't go, did I Did I mention size on everybody? So um, yeah, you guys, I'll have to put my bloopers here when we do pictures because there's just never any perfect pictures. Never. They all, uh, it takes several, several shots to get them, doesn't it? Because you don't cooperate, do you? You don't. Okay, so uh, up next on the docket, I realize I'm getting a little long here on the video and you guys are just kind of like sitting here right now. Walk around, walk around. Um, up on the docket next is our, uh, I'm going to be sending out to our owners that are on the deposit list directions, puppy picking instructions that just kind of lets you know how to prepare for your appointment, what is going to happen, what what we are going to be doing. Uh, we try to keep it somewhat orderly and um, every owner has one hour. Um, what we'll do is ask you to choose your puppy within the first 45 minutes, the last remaining 15. We'll go over all the instructions. You'll gather everything in your puppy packet, which um includes your food uh a travel crate the crate that they've been uh that that is the same crate they've been um just yellows keep staying in my lap i'm trying to move them so you can see them um that's the crate they've been crate training in um you'll get poochie bell potty training bells toys treats and nutritional supplement uh what else is in there a little light that you can put on their collar light them up so you can see them at night I like that when they're out in the yard, or if you're going for a walk, your dog is illuminated there with a little light on them. And um, a scented blankie, and your puppy, of course. I think I got everything. Every once in a while, we throw a couple extra tidbits in there. But we will collect everything, and then you'll be on your way, and the next person will have their turn. Yes! Oh, can you hear Lena drinking? She's thirsty. She's thirsty. Yes, look at this. There's a little bit of light on you, on your chest. Alrighty, we're gonna say goodbye for today. They are definitely more talkative and playful and walking around. All right, so here's pink girl. Yeah. Here's our purple girl. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? And here is black collar boy. He's the biggest. Green over here attacking the. <laughs> The little bear here is our smallest. Let's just put you next to black collar so we can see the difference. 
not a huge difference, but you can kind of pick them up and feel the weight difference there. And then everybody else is in between. They're all equally in between. We don't have super big and super large. I mean, super, super big and super, super small. I can't talk. Um, here is Yellow Boy. There's, here you are. Now you're sitting up for us. And come here, Blue. Come on, Blue. Come on. Sit down and smile. There's our Blue Boy. All right, guys. So we um, will do our temperament testing next week. And that will be sent out to you um, uh, at week six. It doesn't necessarily come out right away, just because I have the testing done. I do. We still do our own evaluations, and uh, then I write it all up. So it, it can't necessarily be sent out as soon as it's done, but I'll get it out to you. Um, just a little um, heads up. They're all very, very similar. Um, they are very similar, but there are some of those little teeny traits that I think are important for people to know, to see what works with them works best with them. Look at this coat. Look how soft you are. Oh, oh, we love it. We love it. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look at you. You're so happy. Yellow is just, just, yeah, he's just happy-go-lucky. Yes, he's a happy boy. All right, guys.